FXB, you're just going to have a look at the Yesu FT70D just on, on a green screen background here. So we can have a good 3D look at it. So it's a dual band VHF UHF radio. Um, it obviously receives a lot more than, than the, what it transmits on. Check out the specs on that. Um, one of the best things about this radio, I think, is the fact that it's very programmable from the front. Um, it has a really nice keypad and then there's the secondary functions when you push the F button. Um, so you can just type in the frequency. So 433. There you go, there's a frequency typed in. Um, yeah, your nice PTT, very similar PTT to the the new FT3D, so it's the newer sort of design and case, I would say. In the side here is your uh, speaker connection, maybe speaker mic. You've got, if I can get this off, DC power in, or you can use the drop-in charger. Pull it up, then you've got your really. It, this connection is for firmware or uh, programming. Um, yeah, volume you have to hold down the volume button, and then you turn this the the main rock rocker, which I think I really like. It's a nice big chunky. You know what and it just works great i love it so um hold down the f the sorry the volume thing and then turn volume up and down and squelch well it might get me on that i've got to remember the squelch now i know it's um pushing something no i can't remember it offhand but it is a similar thing push something and then turn sorry i can't remember now okay so, and then you hold down the F. Oh, I've locked it now. There you are, unlocked just by pushing the, the red button. Hold down the F. And then you get the, this menu. You can see all the different settings. Dimmer there. Um, but generally, I tend to use the um, the front pad, for example, if you push F and then push the zero key here, because it says repeater above it, it's a bit, I don't know how clear you're seeing it. Um, so go F, then repeater. Look, you can change the shift, plus or minus, and simplex. So if you go F, um, there's one here that says tone, squelch type. Look, you can change the tone. Then you go F, TX power. Sorry, F, TX power. There you go, high, mid, low. Okay, so it's very pro programmable just using the radio. And even if we were going to use a hotspot, you just pretty sure you just press F then AMS and it tries to join to Y as X. Let's try it. Maybe we're not in DN mode. But it's not a tutorial really, it's more, this is just a 3D look at this radio. So I'll take the antenna off. Um, so there's your antenna connection and the, the main knob that is used for everything. Uh, we looked at the side connectors. This is the PTT volume and uh, the oh yeah, the sort of input button. Push push that, and you get the input. Now the battery, get the battery off. You pull this clip down, and then you just push here, and it literally just lifts off. The uh, belt clip does get in the way, so there you go. It's surprising, it's quite a heavy, nice battery, but it doesn't actually last that long. Um, but um, it's still well worth having this radio. It just works so well. Um, I would say that if you... Nice chunky belt clip. 
very strong. If you've charged this radio up, yeah. Um, see if we can get my shadow out of the way. Don't leave it in the cradle if the cradle isn't plugged into the power because it will just go flat. And I think even out of the cradle, it can go flat, but not as quick. So there you go. Just thought I'd do that sort of 360 look at this radio. So if anyone's thinking of buying one, I highly recommend these. You know, yeah, and the price has a factor. You know, but for under two hundred pound, you're on C four FM. You have a very good dual band radio that is lovely to use. These LED lights up here, just beautiful. Um, let's go put it into. See if I can get it. To, you know, they do green for receive, but they also do red. Look, and sometimes one will flash one color. And, you know, it's just a lovely radio to use. Uh, but yeah, you'll moan about the battery. <laughs> so, okay, M0FXB73.